uh, we'll take a look here. Of course, the grand finals and everything uh, almost on the way getting into it here. I actually disabled uh, the cam because it was uh, lagging a bit, just so you know. So uh, no, it's fine. You can just uh, but fine. No, it's fine. The voice is uh, the important bit after all. So I'm gonna Very turn it off myself then. And so it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, honestly, it's been a phenomenal tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, there were some matches which almost went all the way, but in general, the uh, the highest level of play has been seen for you know just quite a while at this point, and uh, yeah, we're just looking to put it to a you know worthy conclusion. Mm -hmm. I think this one one half of this final you could have seen coming. Mm -hmm. It's Opa Mine, of course, who's pursuing his ter third prime time. Uh, Primetime Cup trophy in a row, but what you couldn't have expected is who he would be competed against. So, yeah, out of all the people on that side of the bracket, it's Storm that made it all the way after defeating some incredibly high profile players. So, the journey to the finals for him has definitely been a very challenging one. He had to beat Fenrir, Tsuna, and in the end, even Racer Light as well. So, just a phenomenal performance against incredibly high level players. Beat Mew as well to get here. So, mm -hmm. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that this finals position is well deserved and I think we're all just hoping for a great performance out of him to just give it everything he's got to show exactly what he's capable of and to yeah. sort of uh, cap off what has been an amazing year for him. Probably yeah. uh, I think nobody can even match the title of most improved players so Storm would definitely have to be the one. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, very true. And we're just really hoping for a phenomenal performance out of him to just cap it off. And of course, make it difficult for Dopamine to get that third consecutive trophy. His fourth trophy period <sighs> in the Primetime Cup would definitely make him the most winning player by, I think, quite a significant margin. I think nobody else can uh, lay claim to four Primetime Cup trophies. And of course, would definitely make him the... Uh, winningest so to say player of the year so hmm. that would mean the snc trophy and the ptc trophy curiously enough uh, whoever wins today would take that title so both of them yeah are snc champions and one of them well is going to be primetime cup champion as well so i guess amazing team domination doesn't end in the tournament that they participated in yeah yeah and, some great uh, uh, domination that's very true looking for the double here one of them looking like a real dream team indeed so uh what we saw yesterday on this map was specific attention being paid not to the sausage curves by it but actually to the final two or three corners which is uh, where most of the pace can be decided and it's your entry and exit from these corners respectively particularly mm -hmm. the one leading up to the final bank 180 and the bank 180 itself uh, really just decides your pace and the best rounds that we've seen have, you know, been around the 113.5, 113.6 mark. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how Dopamine compares to Kez yesterday. We'll see just what the absolute level is. And of course, we'll see just how uh, competitive these two players are. Yeah, look, it's still waiting. I, I believe this might have been the final, final warm up. We'll still mm -hmm. see about that one. Yeah. We uh, will restart the map here, I think. And. Uh and then get underway with the grand finals there you go so of course this prime time cup is there's been just a number of phenomenal matches i really hope this is going to be one of them i think it's really been a while since we saw a match go all the way like mm -hmm. incredibly close to the wire it has been a while since we've seen that mainly because you know through through the bracket draws and everything we've we haven't had all that many chances to uh just see some very closely matched players but it looks like they restarted yeah, the map and they're life. going so it's uh lights out and away we go as the f1 commentators would put it <laughs> first couple of corners should be pretty even between the two players but as we go into the second half of this lap we should start seeing a difference decent start out of both of them so nothing to report dopamine perhaps with a slight lead but it's no more than a couple of hundreds of a second 
And here we go no. then into the deciding part of the lap. So let's see the entry into this corner. I think Dopamine is a little bit cleaner, but Storm isn't bleeding all that much pace at all. However, the banked 180 entry, I think Dopamine had the better of it. Looks pretty even as we head into lap two, but Dopamine with the better exit speed leads by six hundredths of a second heading into lap two. First corner also entry is very important. They both released, but Dopamine simply preserved much more speed throughout the corner. Improves his lead to about a tenth and a half of a second left-hander can be tricky storm narrowly Ooh. avoiding the wall there but he's not decreasing the deficit which is now about a quarter of a second in dopamine's favor i also think dopamine has a slightly better line now which means the deficit will only continue extending itself both players with a clean line but at this point dopamine is three tenths of a second in the lead four tenths of a second in fact as dopamine reaches the finish line the time is 114.8 114.3 for storm the first round and the first point go to dopamine Oh, decent the time as well. Yeah. And the we 113 that, in the uh, very first round, yes. Yeah, I think we saw it on Sunday a couple of times, but uh, the open mind putting the 113 on the board as we Indeed. go. So, Racer Light and Kez both managed to score 113.8. Specifically, Kez set the fastest time, a 113.6 round. But I believe we saw Dopamine do a 113.5 in warm up, so. Uh, We'll see what happens. Second round and underway. Storm trying to be slightly closer, but the start isn't really good. He's going to be a tenth of a second down before the map even starts. Basically two tenths of a second as he also has some unfortunate airtime with the sausage curb. It's a quarter of a second of difference as they head into that deciding corner. It's been clean from both players, but Doppelman has just been slightly cleaner. And that's also very wide for Storm in the banked corner. He's going to lose additional time to Dopamine. Lead is four tenths of a second heading into lap number two. Just a dominant performance from Dopamine. First corner then clean from both players. Storm might reduce the deficit slightly. That was very clean. However, at this point, he's already so far behind that he didn't really put a significant dent in Dopamine's lead. It's been built up since the very beginning. Dopamine with a little bit of airtime off the sausage curb at the end will bleed about one tenth of a second, but he has all the lead in the world. There we go, Into Lester. the final banked corner and Dopamine once again with a decisive lead. About the yeah. same margin as in the yeah. round and Dopamine only one hundred of a second faster than last time. Storm wow. exact same time as last time, so it doesn't seem like either player has changed much from round number one. Dopamine to a 2-0 lead by half a second faster than Storm in both rounds, so quite decisive at the very beginning. Looking for a slightly better performance from Storm as both Racerlight and Kez could do 113s on this map. We're looking for one from him as well. Round number three then underway to zero lead for Dopamine. Oh, that's very wide from Storm. Ooh. He's going to touch the wall. Too aggressive there. Couldn't retain all that speed. And that's going to be a third round from Dopamine in essence. Not a very good start from Storm. Unless Dopamine makes an uncharacteristic error, we think this one might be done. But we'll see if Dopamine maintains that ludicrous consistency in his times. Lap number one draws to a close. And thanks to that mistake, Dopamine has 1.1 second. The advantage safely through the first corner. Not all that much speed. Just as clean as they come. Execution on a very high level. Maintains that clean line. Storm does catch up by about a tenth of a second, but that mistake already eliminated him from the round previously. However, the pace very, very good indeed. So Storm has managed to maintain Dopamine's pace since that mistake, but unfortunately, making it in the first place is something yep. you can't afford to do against a Dopamine's caliber. And Dopamine finishes the round 114.87. So three rounds within a tenth of a second, consistency. On full display, Storm 115.0, not the best round out of Storm, but there is still time for him to get a point on the board. Three more rounds to go. Looking to get it here. Round number four then. And as a lot of people in chat are remarking, it is a very uncharacteristic Primetime Cup final and one that... Uh, sort of came about uh, as a result of this year's draws. Razi withdrew from the Cup which promoted Kez coincidentally to 32nd, the final qualifying spot, and that set us up for a round one winner bracket match between Dopamine and him. Hmm. Dopamine was the victor that time, and he won the rematch in the semifinals as well. That's a story for a different day. Right now, it's about Storm and Dopamine, and this time Storm is much closer to Dopamine than he was previously. He does bleed some time in that banked 180. 
Dokomai leads by a tenth and a half of a second, but Storm can make that deficit comeback with a very clean lap number two. However, he seems to be bleeding more and more time as time goes on, and he's just not as clean as Dopamine is. A whole different level of execution. The lead extends to four tenths of a second. It will be half a second if this keeps up. Storm, unfortunately, not able to maintain Dopamine's pace whatsoever. And uh, on this first map, it doesn't look like there's going to be any significant challenge from him. He's almost half a second behind into the final banked 180. Clean line through it, but Dopamine faster yet. Another 13.7. Finish line, 13.7. That makes four rounds, which he finished with 113.7 or 113.8. Consistency absolutely unmatchable in Storm, yet to set a single 113 time. The only person in the final four not to succeed in putting a 113 on the board in the live match. So yeah. Storm definitely not uh, didn't come here warmed up, but of course he does have time to get some points on the board and... Uh, hopefully make it an interesting match he does take the lead at least for one checkpoint he might even hold it until the next one and he does indeed by four thousands of a second he is ahead of dopamine but heading into the identity that's a bit of a wide line he also gives up a lot of speed yes he does have a clean following corner but dopamine has it equally clean and unfortunately that early mistake does mean that he's going to be two tenths of a second Ooh. behind his dopamine just narrowly avoiding the wall and he will lose a couple of hundreds over the straight but not enough to make a significant departure and dopamine much cleaner in that first corner storm unable to match that kind of line does need to release and that means he gives up yet more time looks like it's again three or four tenths of a second looks like storm again will be slower than 114 just not a sufficiently high enough uh, level to challenge Dopamine in any serious way and round number five draws to a close Dopamine again in the lead probably about to set another consistent time the lead is again four tenths of a second <laughs> it's like we've seen the wow. round on repeat 114.62 finally matches Kez's fastest time so definitely showing that the level is up there and that he is not lacking compared to Kez 114.1 for Storm unfortunately no 113 on the board for him and looking to take his uh, first point here, Storm, still, against Dopamine, being very, very consistent here in the first couple of rounds. So uh, let's see if he can keep it up for the last one here. Storm. Final round, then. There we go. Finally in the lead. Yes, Rema can talk. <laughs> <laughs> Come yeah, on now. Fine. There we go. So Storm taking instance, the lead here. Storm Dopamine. is taking the lead and it's completely Ooh, even close. heading into lap two. Storm leads for the first time. Wow. Would be the first point. We're all cheering for him, hoping that he takes it. But Dopamine does take the lead heading into the 180. However, it is close between them, but that's a little bit wide. He's going to have a hard time making the following corner. Dopamine preserves a little bit more speed. But it is as close as it comes. Storm still has a chance to win this round. However, Let's he does go. have slightly less speed. Into to the, the final. last turn. Ooh. Hoping then for a mistake, but I think Dopamine has the cleaner exit. And unfortunately, <sighs> he denies. That's a 6-0 shutout. Wow. Storm does finally put a 114 on the board in the final round. Yeah. Very well done. So... Unfortunately, it's a 6-0 on the first map. Not exactly what we've been hoping for, but Storm, unfortunately, unable to consistently drive that 113 pace. Very consistent Slightly with off. Dopa. Wow. Slightly off the rest of the final four, so uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so Dopa taking it 6-0 here into the second map. And, uh, Indeed. Hard time for Storm, even though he drove... Uh, all right, by his standards, I think Dopa was just on another level. So uh, Dopamine throwing out the consistency, and let's see if he can keep it up for map number two. Yeah, and, Dopamine uh, had yeah. Uh, the better, he had a better and more consistent overall performance than uh, both Kez and Racer Light. So yeah. safe to say he would have won against both of them, but it would have been a little bit closer storm, unfortunately. He does display good consistency, only a single mistake, but unfortunately, mm -hmm. the raw pace is not there. Yeah. Second map, the Gossens uh, Again, just an incredible test of skill. We saw a very interesting battle between uh, Kez and Racer Light here. And of course, the interesting uh, parts here are that blind left-hander, the first corner. This 
complex where you have to maintain optimal flow in order to drive. And of course, it is just a map with a very predefined racing line and you have to stick to it. So mm -hmm. if you don't manage to do it, your flow will get ruined and you will bleed tenths of a second, which uh, can decide a map quite early. I mean, if you want... Uh, if you want more round-to-round ca -round casting from Remo, we can uh, we can try switching roles for a map, maybe <laughs> on this one, if you want yeah, to. Yeah, of course, but there's a reason that uh, I'm silent, of course. I really like your casting and your uh, on-the-point on uh, timing, so uh, I enjoy uh, sitting here and screaming some ooh-ahs when uh, the time is right, <laughs> but uh, uh, actually I have to say it's also pretty hard when you are not live with each other in a room to uh i don't know get yeah, the timing course. right with the two of us but uh yeah it is, but try to get it right we, we try our best for the we try our best for the uh, guys watching exactly so i don't know uh steak do you uh want some rema cast i'm down we can yeah, uh, swap for this map so yeah. let's switch roles a bit all right so uh take it up here in the second map so dopa of course into the warm-up here trying to defend his uh, 6-0 lead against storm and storm looking to put the first point on the board it uh, will be really exciting if he does and uh, we'll be following the action closely of course for the rest of the evening still more maps to come after this four more so do not go anywhere and uh, we'll be here with the ptc grand final so yeah, it will be interesting to see this map, as Deft said earlier, very technical, uh, a lot of blind turns, which Deft uh, explained multiple times in earlier streams, uh, hard to uh, drive this on vision, uh, you just have to uh, drive it blind, drive it on memory actually, so uh, players in the warm-up here getting ready for that hard challenge, and we'll see if Storm can uh, can put the fire to Dopamine here, so... Indeed. Uh, he looked yeah. quite good in the warm-up, so... Yeah, exactly. I might take it over. Alright. There you go. So, the players on the way here. Storm and Dopamine in the first lap here on the second map. And we'll see if Storm will be able to uh, compete with Dopamine on pace here. As Dev just said, looking pretty clean in the warm-up. Let's see if we can uh, do it here as well. Losing a bit of pace going into that... Uh, very hard entry actually, and Dopamine taking advantage of that, just one or two hundredths of a second here, uh, two tenths, sorry, uh, to get it on in the first lap. Dopamine maintaining that lead, very well done by him, and Storm looking to uh, close the deficit just a bit. Dopa into the entry here, makes it very well done, Storm as well, I think uh, almost on the same pace as Dopa here. But he lost a bit in the first lap, so it will be very hard for him to actually come back and uh, eat away that lead that Dopa has already built in the first lap. Last lap now, 3 out of 3 laps of course, a 3 lapper. Pretty long here to uh, keep your focus for both players. And Dopa defends his lead very well, a bit of a mistake there by Storm going wide. He will make the entry, Dopa just does that as well and maintains his lead actually extends it to uh, more than half a second here and storm chasing for the bigger part of this map until now and dopa successfully takes his first point on this one as well goes 7-0 against storm here and uh, takes it in a 127-5-6-2 storm half a second behind so uh, that is there's the work for him i believe we've seen Wow. 127.5 is a little bit faster than what Kez and Racerlight managed to do, especially on a consistent pace. So, very nice first round from them. Right. Very well done here. So, uh, Dopamine with uh, great consistency there again in the uh, three couple of laps that we have seen. And he will try to uh, do it again here. Storm chasing already by uh, just a small bit. And he will try to uh, to follow Dopamine here already. Almost one lap done going into the second. Dopa with uh, 0 0.3 seconds on the board already. Looking very, very good here. Dopa once again. And Storm not even making uh, that big of mistakes. But he is just... Uh, he cannot keep up with the pace that Dopamine is putting on the board right now. It will be very hard for him to uh, actually come back here for, from this. 
So Dopa, almost half a second lead here already again. Storm struggling with it now. He just cannot find a pace to match the Dopamine here. And Dopamine being very, very clean. So as we see here into the left-hander, all pretty technical like Deft has pointed out multiple times. Dopa executes it very well. And that is very, very well done by Dopamine. So clean how he uh, drives the map here. Putting Storm on more than one and a half seconds. So I think he made a small mistake there. It was a small mistake, yes. And that's yeah. 127.4, so goes even faster than first round. And, there uh, you go. Wow. Just puts everybody on notice because this is even better than what Kez and Racerlight managed and more consistent. So definitely a phenomenal performance that Dopamine is putting on right now into Amazing. round three then. Take it away. There we go. So round three on the way and Dopamine, like Dev just said, some amazing consistency and performance faster than uh, Racerlite and Cass. So the level of play that Dopamine shows right now is absolutely unbelievable. And he does it round and round again. But now Storm looking to match Dopamine here and try to not lose that much in lap number one. Actually takes the lead here. Let's see if he can keep it up. Going into lap two, going pretty wide there, hitting the wall just a slight bit. And Storm, after a very good uh, first lap, almost touching the wall. And uh, will be an easy cruise for Dopamine. So let's see if he can continue setting great times here and uh, boosting his consistency. Sad to see Storm just touching the wall there. I think he had a very good first lap, matching Dopamine's pace, actually being faster. But then in that weird turn before the finish he was just a little bit too wide and that shows how important it is to actually get those entries and turns very very well done so that you can enter the next one uh, however you want of and course and it's very good just to perhaps put it additionally it might seem of course to the viewer that now that it's going to be basically a 9-0 lead for dopamine that it is incredibly one-sided but storm's level in absolute terms is still very very high it should mm -hmm. absolutely not be discounted it just so happens that not only is dopamine matching the best pace we've seen out of kez and racer light in the previous match but he's also being far more consistent than either of them which contributes to this match feeling just impossible yeah. and uh yeah so far, Dopamite's made zero mistakes, minor or major, yeah. in nine rounds, which is just an unfathomable level, and neither Kesner Racer Light could pull that kind of thing off. Anyway, round yeah. four, Rema, if you So, will. that just speaks of the level of play, indeed, that uh, Dopamine brings to the table at the moment. And just like Deft says, we are watching from uh, the, spectator, the, from the uh, point of view, I'm sorry, of Storm here. And Dopamine seems to be cruising away easily, but his level of play right now is uh, absolutely insane. Being very, very clean. And Storm actually driving pretty clean as well, making some uh, minor touches or mistakes. Now trying to uh, come closer to Dopa, closing the deficit that he had here to uh, two tenths of a second. Let's see if he can keep it up going into the last lap here against Dopamine, who is uh, already rocketing away again into the last lap. Left-hander here for a storm. Dopamine just a bit faster and faster every checkpoint that we see. So four tenths of a second now for him. Storm trying to uh, close the gap and being pretty clean storm. He just cannot match the absolute insanity of Dopa right now. Look at this. Not making a single mistake so far. Executes his driving very, very well. 127.4 yet again. And that is a top level time, I think, from Dopamine Storm. Coming pretty close this time, half a second again, but it is just not enough to uh, contest Dopamine here. And with uh, two rounds remaining, it really needs to be pointed out just how insane what we're seeing from both of these players is. Because the major upgrade from the small final we saw the other day is honestly just the consistency. Storm so far has made two mistakes, which may seem like a lot when compared to the fact that Dopamine is yet to make one. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, we saw Kez and Racer Light make about two mistakes per map, unfortunately. Just as I say that, Storm does make an unusual third mistake, will Aye. yield the round. But uh, Dopamine's level of consistency is absolutely unfathomable. And if you look at Storm, 
you can notice these just small hitches, these small insecurities, just mm -hmm. not entirely sure about his line, make some additional adjustments, some additional releases that you simply don't have the time for against players of Dopamine's caliber. And uh, it's yeah. not to say that Storm's level is low by any means. He had to beat many great opponents to get here, but unfortunately, he does fall flat when confronted with the very best, I suppose. Yeah. And to be fair, as some point out, Kez was the only one who was competitive in terms of pace. That is true. We saw some very close matches between them in winner's bracket round number one. Uh, Dopamine beat Kez 29 to 25, Kez winning both endurance matches. Unfortunately, in the second one, Kez uh, took a much better start to the match, but unfortunately yielded at the very end. Yeah. Dopamine putting that 127.5 on the board, so maintains absolutely ridiculous consistency. And as Mew points out, uh, the suggestion that Dopamine is more consistent than Race Flight at the minute is statistically correct as well. Mm -hmm. If you just compare these two matches, Race Flight made multiple mistakes in rounds just on this map. Dopamine is yet to yeah. make a single one in 11 rounds of play while posting top level time, so he's not driving very slowly either. Yeah. Anyway, for the final round, take yeah, it away. Absolutely on top level here, Dopa, and it is just a pleasure to watch as he will try to uh, collect his 12th point here and uh, beat Storm 6-0 on both maps. Storm yet to put a point on the board let's see if we can do it in the last round here against the absolute insanity of dopamine on this map so into the second lap here just three tenths of a second behind storm and chasing dopamine here has to be uh, interesting for storm <laughs> he sees the lines he sees the uh, the almost perfect driving of dopamine just like Dev pointed out top level times by dopamine time and time again and it is so hard for Storm to uh, maintain his own level of play while actually trying to catch Dopamine as well. So we see here going into the third and last lap on this map that Dopamine is just cruising away. More than half of a second now for him once again. And Storm is just chasing the Great Dane time and time again. Dopamine, let's see if he can uh, put another very competitive time on the board. I think he can. Almost a second here on Storm, a 127.2. That is That's almost insanity. Half a second faster than anyone else. Wow. What we just saw was an incredible round. And that's 12-0 after rounds, there you unfortunately, go. for Dopamine. But when it's this kind of level of play, when he makes zero mistakes and sets world record pace casually. Mm-hmm. It's safe to say that getting a point in rounds off him is an achievement that is basically equal to winning a whole <laughs> match against some weaker player. It is yeah. absolutely insane. Very, very However, true. It should be said that he probably will score his first points in time attack just because I sincerely doubt that even Dopamine can pull away more than half a second from him. Mm -hmm. On this particular map, Dopamine does hold the best time, 35.272, but Storm is only 14 hundreds of a second away, which would mean that if these times are repeated, they would uh, Storm would put four points on the board. Yeah. Definitely something uh, he would uh, look forward to and uh, would definitely be nice for him to finally put something on the board. Yeah, maybe really. aim for 10 to 15 points at the very end, but yeah. in rounds... Make no mistake about it, Storm's level was very high as well. Absolutely no disrespect to him. What he did would have been difficult for some very good players to match as well, but mm -hmm. just today, Dopamine's performance is unbreakable. If you watch his POV on that second map, we talked yesterday, uh, or the other day, excuse me, with Kez and Racerlight. Mm -hmm. How even players of their caliber can barely make a consistent round work on that map just because of there's only really one racing line you have to get the timing right yeah. you have to get it absolutely perfect there is no margin for error and as it would happen opa might just basically show them up and said well <laughs> i can do it anyway yeah. because if you look at the way he drives there's there's no hesitation yeah no small adjustments anything it feels like he's done it a hundred times over it feels like he could do it a hundred times over again yeah it is a different level of consistency to any other player in the whole cup Kez matched him on pace, but in terms of consistency, nobody could stand up to him. 
Yeah, that's what uh, intrigues me as well about dopamine. It's just like a machine driving that no hesitation whatsoever when he takes corners or he uh, he's looking for entries or whatever. He just knows that it will be the right line. And last map, like you said, was the perfect example to actually show that. And exactly. that is why we shouldn't uh, forget indeed that Storm's performance was very, very well done. But dopamine is just a programmed machine at the moment. Indeed. And as somebody asks in chat, what kind of competition is this? It might be good to explain both the competition and the time attack format as the players warm up for their first laps of time attack. Welcome. This is the Primetime Cup 2021. This is the premier one on one NASCAR competition of the year. Players compete against each other in head to head matches, which are uh, played in rounds mode where they drive a round of about two to three laps first. We just saw that on the previous two maps. Then time attack, where they simply compete to set the fastest lap in a certain amount of time, specifically eight minutes. And finally, endurance, where they drive about 15 to 20 laps on a map and try to finish ahead of each other. Here, we have eight minutes to set a time. And for every tenth of a second that the winner is faster, they gain an additional point. So right here, you're looking for differences in pace of about a tenth of a second. And it only matter and the fastest time you set is the only one that matters. So it doesn't really matter if you can do it consistently. You just have to get one good lap in, and that's all that matters. There we go. So that is a little bit time attack format explained for you. And actually, while uh, the clock is ticking down, I have some interesting annou uh, announcement about uh, this cup because it has not been announced officially yet, there will be a post later, but there will be a closing event this Sunday. So for everyone who is watching at the moment uh, and who is interested in uh, joining that, there will be a closing event. So there you go, following post will be made later and uh, there you can take that in as we go back into the action here with 6 minutes on the clock still. Indeed, six minutes on the clock, and I think Storm is on a pretty good lap. It might not be enough to match Dopamine's fastest checkpoints, but it is still a very clean lap, which is what he he's aiming for. So far, none of the players setting the best times yet. They're still at 36 seconds, their best times in the low 35s. Storm, unfortunately, does touch hey. the wall a bit too aggressive, and he was trailing by three tenths of a second. Dopamine sets a time attack world record, 35.161. A whole tenth of a second faster than his previous time and 13 hundreds of a second faster than the next closest player in Kez. Wow. Another level is a uh, fitting explanation for Dopamine as he's currently cruising towards his third consecutive Primetime Cup trophy. Which is insane if you think about the players that have competed in the past and are competing now. That is so insane of Dopa to... Uh try at least try to go for uh, three consecutive wins here in the cup and it is amazing to see as he puts another great time on the board here and uh, our eyes will be on storm to see if he can get a lap in and actually come close to that time i guess i doubt he can actually match it but he does need to get points on the board and in order to do that he only needs to match the personal best that he set last week so he only needs to repeat his performance that he already did once in order to score at least a couple of points. That's of course assuming that Dopamine doesn't somehow manage to break the world record twice in an 8 minute span. <laughs> which, I guess if anyone were able to do it, that would be Dopamine. But yeah. uh, safe to say that that would be extremely difficult. Just because this map, we saw it with Kez and Racerlite, it is already so close to perfection. Yeah. They were only separated by two hundredths of a second after 8 minutes just as close as it comes a very simple map just perfect from fluff and uh, very enjoyable to drive and very enjoyable to watch indeed as it is these small things it is the time in which you switch it is the uh, timing of your turning switch that really defines whether you'll even be able to make some of these corners storm mm -hmm. still with a 36.0 that's not good enough that's more than half a second slower than his uh best from last week with only three and a half minutes on the Aye. clock, clock he is taking. considerably slower than dopamine in the first couple of checkpoints but at least he'll be able to score a point if he manages to keep it together let's see if he can cruising already 
four tenths of a second behind. That's uh, not quite competitive, unfortunately. Dopamine absolutely annihilated every other player in terms of timing, but I think that might just be enough. Storm finishes 35.651. That's enough, unfortunately, for no more than a single point, I believe. Oof. And only barely for a single point, as this is still two and a half tenths of a second behind his personal best. So Storm not even managing to match up to his pace the last week, let alone the, past, the pace set forth by Dopamine. Of course, it is mentally very challenging uh, to play against a player of Dopa's caliber because mm -hmm. he's just going to give you nothing. And as you find it harder and harder to score a point, of course, your motivation goes down as well. And it's much easier to make these uh, fatal mistakes. Yep. This time only about two minutes remaining on the clock for both players to improve their times. As a reminder, mm -hmm. if you run out of time with a lap in progress, you won't be able to finish it. So you need to think about the timer. You need to start your final lap with enough time remaining if you want that last second chance of uh, scoring some extra points against your opponent. But as it stands, Dopamine would win 6-1. to one. Aye, aye, aye. Storm looking for it. Ooh, just slowing down here before the finish. Not what he needs with less than two minutes on the clock. And he is looking to uh, improve still here, I guess. To indeed put more than one point on the board against Dopa. And of course, a point is a point for Storm, but... He will be looking for more, especially with his personal bets being a 35-4 at the moment. It's very interesting, of course, when you look at the way he drives, it, it seems so clean, but then you look at the mm -hmm. timing sheet and he's already three tenths of a second behind Dopamine. Yeah. And what people in the chat are saying is absolutely true. You can lose to Dopamine 0 to 36 and still be a phenomenal player. Yeah. That's, of course, a given. But unfortunately, you just have to be at your very best to match up against a player like that. And it just goes to show how high the skill ceiling in NASCAR really is. Yeah. That the difference between a very good player and a top level player is basically feels like night and day. Although both of them have a very high level in absolute terms. And Storm, he could lose 0 to 36 and still be one of the biggest winners of the year. Yeah, very and true. As it stands, he won the Spring NASCAR Cup with Dream Team Reloaded, and he would be second in the Primetime Cup, one of the absolute best finishes of the year, and he's looking to set a personal best there and get go. some additional points on the board. Yeah. 35.492, that's an additional point gain, should be 6-2 to two, as far as I can tell. Unfortunately, I don't think he has enough time remaining no time. to finish that lap, and that's the end of that, and it's the end for Dopamine as well, so... As we conclude the first map of Time Attack, Storm will put his first points on the board. As far as I can tell, it should be two points. So it's going to be 18 to two after map number three. And uh, safe to say that Storm is still mathematically in this match, but uh, the final, the following map might be the final one, at yep. least in terms of score. And Dopamine only needs one more map win in order to seal his third consecutive trophy and become primetime cup 2021 champion there you go so dopamine on the way to do that after three maps here three more to go and as deft just pointed out the next one might be the last one because storm is theoretically still in this but dopa of course looking to close it out here on this uh Interesting map, I, I should say. I really like uh, like this kind of map here. With uh, some interesting NASCAR-like banded turns here. Curved corners. So... Yeah, this is about as classic as it gets. Uh, yeah. Just the uh, banked corners that you need to drive pretty cleanly. The difference between the drift and the no drift in the 270s. So that might be the only really... Uh, technical i guess element where the mm -hmm. player strategies might differ and the rest of it is all about execution exactly what you'd want to see the good news for storm is that his personal best is only one tenth of a second behind dopamine's personal best dopamine with a 39.18 storm with a 39.28 last week which means a few more points on the board and as it looks we just completely skipped warm-up which means yeah. that we're all already live and the players are heading into their first time laps Dopa touching right. the wall means that he will be giving up the attempt which means storm has center stage as he tries to set a competitive lap time of course he's just looking to score some points get maybe 10 or 15 on the board by the time the match is over 
and looking, of course, to match up to his performance last week. He couldn't do it on the previous map, but he should be able to do it on this one. Yeah, very Looks cool. like a decently clean lap from him right now. Let's see Final what his time will be then. in the end. Looking for a competitive time indeed at 39. That is three. a very good map. For, that is a very good time indeed. 39.35 is only seven hundredths of a second of his personal best, and that already basically guarantees some points for Storm. So, a very clean lap from him, and absolutely incredible level of performance. Less than two tenths of a second behind the world record. So, a very impressive lap well from. Done from our finalist here. He's trying to set another lap, but is it on pace like his previous one? It's very close, so Storm might be able to do it a second time, but I don't think it is quite as fast as the previous one. Let's Into the see. finish line he comes and does not improve, but it's a 39.4, so Storm definitely wow. showing a dopamine and dope. decides to <laughs> end moly. it right here. <laughs> Again, world record 39.12. That's six hundredths of a second faster than his time last week and beats Kez again by five hundredths of a second. So that is the fastest time in absolute terms we've seen thus far. Holy moly. So Dopa doing that with just a couple of minutes driven. And that might be, yeah, I don't know, just a, a pinch in Storm's face maybe. He's uh, setting some, some good times there in the first couple of laps. Always pretty important, I think, for your mental game in uh, a time attack mode. But Dopamine, with just about two and a half minutes played, takes the world record there of uh, of Cass. And yeah, will be hard for Storm here. Indeed it will. And uh, simply put, Storm will score three points as it stands. So that'll get his point total up to five. Looking at least for that uh, 10 margin, get double digits against Dopamine, of course. An achievement not every player can... Uh, boast of having accomplished let's see what kind of lap Very storm true. is on right now it doesn't look as fast as dopamines but it might be a personal best for him is it at the very end it isn't 39.53 so storm setting a couple of very consistent laps yeah 39 35 39 40 39 47 now 39 53 but unfortunately none of them quite on dopamines level so it is what it is and uh as it currently stands, of course, uh, with the point margin being what it is, Dopamine would become champion. So up the storm to keep the match theoretically running for a little bit longer by uh, extending it by perhaps scoring another personal best for himself and improving on his time. Otherwise, might as well be over right yeah. oh, now. And he, he does improve. It. Very that well is a done. personal best, 39.272 by... Uh, only one hundred of a second, but it does cut into that lead, reduces it to below two tenths of a second, which gives him one additional point. Well done. Might be very good indeed. I think that's a very decent time uh, from Storm. Or decent, it's a very good time from uh, Storm. Absolutely phenomenal Almost time. Yes. Almost matching, matching racer, uh, light. racer lights. Yeah. It's very very well done. So Storm. And Dopamine sets the fastest checkpoint six right now. This is also the fastest Ooh. checkpoint eight, fastest checkpoint ten. So he might be going for another world record before our eyes. Checkpoint eleven is the fastest. Checkpoint twelve is the fastest. Checkpoint thirteen is oh, the fastest. Oh, he makes Dopamine the exit. Set world record. Thirty-nine zero. Wow. Thirty-nine zero three. Improves oh, yeah. in the span of eight minutes by one and a half tenth of a second two times over world record wow. and increases it again to two tenths of a second and more which would again restore his status and uh, that would indeed be the end just need to wait for the time to tick down and hope that storm somehow doesn't manage to pull out the best time best time basically of his nascar career out the pocket <laughs> but as it stands dopamine has absolutely obliterated storm on this map as well just setting world record level times better than both kez and racer light so safe yeah. to say that none of the other players in the final four would have been able to stand up to this kind of pace nothing of course for storm to really do in this instance and should still be commended yeah so dopa two minutes left here maybe going for the 38 that would be uh, amazing to see out of him well, but, he won't uh, score it on this lap, but of course he does have time for, I believe, two more laps. Yeah. Should which should 
Which, given his uh, current pace, gives him uh, plenty of chances. He's been known to score with less than two chances, so I'd be 32. able to do it here. Actually, no drifting the first corner with the line that he takes. I've never seen that out of anyone. It's the fastest checkpoint three. Surely oh, yeah, he won't yeah, do yeah, it the yeah, third yeah. time. Checkpoint four, five thousandths of a second off the fastest checkpoint, fastest checkpoint five. Also the fastest checkpoint six, not by much, but it is still faster than what he was going before. No fastest way. checkpoint eight, fastest checkpoint ten by six thousandths of a second. That would be another <laughs> improvement, no matter how small, fastest checkpoint eleven. But I think he went a little Ooh, bit too wide little there too and wide. he will bleed a few hundreds of a second. And I think that is enough to Aye. abort the attempt, but 3906. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, oh, Dopa, they're just too wide, I think, in that last turn. But, uh, wow, what a pace. It is absolutely insane what he's doing, and his time attack comes to an end, but considering he literally scored two world records in the span of eight minutes and sealed the trophy, I think he doesn't care. I think he's basically achieved everything there is to achieve, and as it stands, yeah. I think it'll be, judging by the scores, 24 to 5, and that will Aye, mean that will be it that the champion of the 21 21 primetime cup is dopamine storm you abandons go. the final lap no more time and that is essentially it two more maps will be played for storm to gain some points and to determine the final score but you have your 2021 primetime cup champion it's dopamine third consecutive trophy fourth trophy in total Whew. wow so dopamine Living up to the status, of course. Oh, he ends it after uh, after four maps here. Absolutely insane. Insane pace and uh, insane driving by him. Also by Storm, who uh, will be looking to take some points to put on the board still in the last two maps that are remaining. Of course, we are not done. But uh, Dopamine, the winner of PTC 2021 here. And as it stands, there was really just a couple of players that would be able to compete with him to score for those asking 24 to 5 19 yep. points the advantage which is well beyond any comebackable sum 12-0 in rounds uh 12-5 in time attack to get to that score so just comprehensively outclassing storm in this match to be expected but still uh just an incredible level of performance, faster than any other Final Four contender on both pace and consistency. Essentially yeah. zero mistakes in rounds, f by far the faster player in time attack. I don't think there was anyone that could have put up a fight today. Insane. With this kind of performance, there was just absolutely no chance. Yeah, and uh, I agree. as it stands, with Razi withdrawing from the tournament before it even began, it was always going to be the status of favorite for Dopamine, but mm -hmm. uh, nonetheless, to just see this kind of victory, absolutely dominant. And uh, here now, we're just going to look to see the best performance out of Storm possible. To yeah. just see exactly why this player made it all the way to the finals, why he made it to the final four, and why so many phenomenal players were bested by him. He had arguably the hardest pad out of anyone to hear he had to fight the closest matches and made it all the way here and hopefully he's able to put double digit points on the board currently has five and needs five more to get to that 10 point mark and with the start of endurance 16 laps on inspiration by belmont the map that ruined kez's life yeah. and ruined his chances of uh, being in dopamine's place as 2021 champion say. Storm yeah. looking to maintain some kind of pace and uh, just looking to score some additional points. Dopamine himself, of course, remarking that Storm is very strong in endurance, and that is absolutely true. Yeah, very, Should very true. Underestimated by any means. So Storm looking to take points here against Dopa, and it should also be pointed out that this map might be the very reason that uh, Storm is actually here with Racer. Uh, in endurance last time I think in the semi-finals trying to uh, take the little shortcut at the end you can jump to the finish he tried to do that and he did not succeed and in the end of that match Storm went on to the final and Racerlite was sent to the third place match against Cass so uh, Storm maybe good memories on this map and let's see if he can follow Dopamine and stay within that uh, I believe three second 
Um, yeah, loss that he can uh, afford here to not lose Indeed. too much so, points. For those of you who might still be new and watching this tournament for the first time with us here, endurance scoring is done by uh, like this. For every three seconds that the loser arrives to the finish line behind the winner, he loses a point, six points given to the winner, five, and then uh, three seconds. One point less for every three seconds you're behind so yep. from trying to keep it in three seconds that would mean four points for him and of course for every additional three seconds yeah he'd lose one more looking to get 10 on the board so if he can keep it within three seconds that would indeed be not just great for his points but a very impressive performance in absolute terms because last time this map was driven dopamine put racer light and storm more than six seconds almost nine seconds behind yeah is absolutely insane and uh, on this final map pack dopamine is simply king of endurance racer light and storm were both severely behind of course as you mentioned racer light taking the risky finish when he didn't need to <laughs> unfortunately cost him his chances of the first i believe finals appearance for him yeah unless he had one in the early editions of the primetime cup which i don't have the score sheets for i believe racer light never attended the final he did however attend a lot of final fours so yeah. This was his chance, however, not to be. Storm did defeat him in the end, and uh, he was leading even in the lead up to Endurance, so safe to say that uh, Storm was the one that really uh, led that match from start to finish, and it was yeah. a deserving performance to put him in the finals. As far as Dopamine and Kez are concerned, they were dead even heading into this map. And in the end, unfortunately, Kez completely collapsed and got 6-0 on this map, which ended his hopes of entering the final in a position of favorite as well. So, yeah, unfortunately, then he also went on to do the same exact thing in the third place match. This map ruined his chances. And in the end, Kez finished fourth this year. Yeah, so that is uh, behind us now in B with Kez and Razorlight. And at the moment... Neither Dopa or Storm, I think, has made a big mistake, but Storm will be very hard for him to uh, stay within the 3 second margin here. Already on 2.498 seconds behind Dopa. Oh, and he touches there just a little bit. So he might fall to 3 seconds here and he, uh, he will be looking to stay close to Dopa in order to uh, gain additional points of course like Dev pointed out would be nice for him to uh, gain that 10 points against Dopa and he is looking for it here so now on 3.1 seconds has to fight back and Dopamine just cruising at the moment indeed he is and uh, Dopamine sets the fastest lap we've seen all uh, map pack long so this same map pack was used for the semi-finals for the third place match and nobody set a lap faster than what Dopamine just did 38.492 in the middle of an endurance run absolute <laughs> insanity Insane. displayed today and uh i think that regardless of how you view the relative difficulty of this final whether you believe that the real final was dopamine versus kez in the semis uh you cannot deny that this level of performance would beat any other contender in this primetime cup yeah. and we simply haven't seen either the pace or the consistency from any other player to match him question marks of course will always uh, exist because Rossi withdrew and a lot of high tier players did not participate some of them participated but didn't train and thus fell mm -hmm. out in the early stages but no matter how you look at it we just haven't seen a level of performance like this and uh, Dopamine did put everyone on notice with this performance not cruising in the finals giving his opponent playing respectfully not underestimating mm -hmm. him giving 100% and yeah Man, that is very... I really like that here about Dopamine, that he took this match as any other match against anyone. And I think we're used to see that from Dopamine, that he always is very serious about his matches and always tries to put out the best he can. And we see it today here against Storm, uh, which of course, as we pointed out, is a worthy opponent. And Dopamine just, just took this match and uh, grinded it here. Yeah. Absolutely elite level of driving as you have said and uh, absolutely now... unmatched and particularly on this final map back in endurance it's yeah. it is absolutely incredible just to see how 
this works because when you think about it all the members of the final four had to beat amazing players to get to where they are mm -hmm. they had to beat extremely tough competition that plays at a high level itself and even between the final four dopamine put multiple seconds on every other person in the final four yeah. in endurance on this maps he beat them in time attack he beat them in rounds he beat them in endurance i said when we were still with six final players, or maybe the final eight, mm -hmm. I mentioned that it would really be Dopamine versus five or seven contenders to yeah. see if any of them can take <laughs> the trophy from him. And in True. the final map back, he did put them on notice. And that's really something you have to take into consideration. Uh, no matter how you view the relative level of to d this year's competition with a few players missing, no matter yeah. how you view the qualification where we had some very interesting results so to say and of course some players not trying as hard ending up in interesting matches in the early rounds mm -hmm. it's an absolutely deserved victory and uh other players will have to prove that they're on his level rather than the other way around yeah very true there's absolutely no excuse that can be had after seeing this level of performance and despite multiple mistakes from storm perhaps not painting the full picture but uh, it's already eight seconds ahead and that is the exact same thing we saw the last week around yeah. so it's not like either player is playing much better or worse this is literally what we saw last week it just goes to show how fearsome dopamine as a player is and uh exactly why he has four trophies to his name which i believe is more than any other nascar driver yeah uh, very true i believe fluff has been in two finals i'm not sure if he won both of them could be the case but still, mm -hmm. this is uh, Dopamine's fourth trophy, and as it stands, we're going to have to see some uh, higher level of performance next year to prevent it from being a fifth. And, yeah. uh, of course, that would be interesting. Of course, NASCAR Elite Tier competition is very top-heavy, because in the Spring NASCAR Cup for the past couple of years, we've had the trophy basically juggled between the highest level teams before... Mm -hmm. uh, before the switch to Trackmania 2 in 2020, we had the FOTS team and the p &E teams always scoring. Yeah. Yeah, it's very true. And it's interesting to see how it evolves uh, over time, like Dream Team being formed, I believe, a couple of Dan. years ago as a team that was just put together for, I think, the SNC? Yes, it's always put for the SNC. And... Yeah. Uh, right now as it stands they've won every time they've participated yeah and it's very difficult therefore to just uh you know keep track of how many times a person has won a tournament simply because it's basically three or four winners uh for uh three or four winners all around yeah it's very it's cool. very difficult to get your hands on any kind of trophy because there are only two or three competitions per year and they're mostly you know uh very top heavy so Really, you have to think about the positions you've achieved. Storm has to consider this year, and uh, consider one of the best years a player who might not have been considered elite level before has had, with an SNC victory and second place in the Primetime Cup. Absolutely, uh, yeah. A year to remember, regardless of how it finishes, entering the final lap. Now the deficit is almost 10 seconds in 16 laps, Ooh. so we're talking more than a third of a second per lap on average. Dopamine, incredible in both pace and consistency, puts everyone else on notice and will be looking to finish. We're going to compare his time to Racer Light yesterday. Yeah, that will be interesting. Racer Light yesterday scored a 10 26. Dopamine scores a 10 20. Wow. Wow. Six cold seconds faster than Racer Light yesterday. Insane. Goes for the I finish believe... as well. Storm as well. Wow. And safe to say that uh, I believe he went faster in the semifinals. I think that was a 10-19. So wow. repeats that performance another week in a row. Ten and a half seconds the difference. That means Storm should secure two points. Two that points, will bring his yeah. total up to seven. Means he needs three on the final map to get to those double digits. Right. And of course, Dopamine will not give anything for free. But Storm himself a very, very prolific and very strong endurance player does need to put his best foot forward and uh just reduce the amount of mistakes that he's doing in order to get those three points on the board because in terms of pure pace he has the pace for it yeah he just needs to put out a good run and this map pretty simple as far as maps go it does have that custom multi-apex corner mm -hmm. 
at the very beginning. So Storm looking to finish within 9 seconds here, right? To succeed in this mission for 10 points? It should. Right. Yes, it has to be within 9 seconds to get 10 points on the board. And of course, anything that he gets beyond that is uh, definitely uh, very welcome for him. Last time around, yeah. I believe, he managed to put 13 on the board. This time... I don't think it'll be that close. Of course, Dopamine stepped up to a whole new level, unlike last time, and mm -hmm. we'll see. Do we... And uh, Happy teasing them with some special rules, like uh, 25 points on the final map to give Storm that uh, comeback opportunity. <laughs> but uh, I guess uh, putting some uh, special Happy rules aside, we're just looking for Storm to get those double digits, to get within nine seconds, and to cap off his competitive year with a banger performance on the very final map as we begin we have 20 laps on this one pretty simple map should be pretty mistake free from both players as i believe both of them are playing on a high enough level to avoid them it's really just gonna come down to pure pace and i don't think even dopamine is fast enough to put nine seconds between himself and storm that will be very remarkable on this map very sure i don't know if we can compare times from last time here from storm and dopa it might be possible but we'd have to check the replay maybe the viewers if they want to they can uh, check that right now yeah in the meantime we can focus on uh, bringing this one to an end and storm leads uh two laps in absolutely incredible really to... good not something a lot of players can claim to do having led for at least a tenth of this endurance race is definitely hmm. going to uh be something you can uh, ah, and... be quite happy with. And as you can see, Storm taking that multiple apex corner very well. Dopamine perhaps slacking off a little bit. Uh, Storm putting on a very, very impressive performance indeed. And this would definitely give him those uh, 10 points if he can keep it up. And Dopamine, Ooh, first Dopa mistake touches. of the entire <laughs> match <laughs> on the final map after securing Ooh. the trophy. He makes his first mistake. By this time, Keza Racerlight have, I believe, made, you know, almost a double digit amount of individual mistakes. So mm -hmm. yeah. it just goes to show that the consistency also is a big part of why this is such a convincing victory in terms of points. Yeah. Already uh, fought back here, though. <laughs> he is here yes, already again. The yeah. pace. Uh, and of course, Dopa isn't like. Dopa is only human after all. And uh, as things stand, uh, when he was playing against Kez, of course, it did feel much, much closer because when you have somebody consistently pressuring you, you are that much more prone to making mistakes. But yeah. I don't believe it was really ever the instance uh, here. And. Of course, with half a second on average in the first round's map, it was uh, pretty safe to say that Dopamine got the message early about the level of his competition and just how well he would have to perform himself even in the worst case scenario. I think he lost his fear. Storm now mm. touching the wall will mean that the deficit opens up to about a second or two, but still, he only needs to finish within nine seconds, which means he still has uh, enough time to finish this map and secure those 10 points against Dopa. Definitely a uh, definitely would be an achievement for him. Yeah, it would be a mention worthy achievement indeed for him. Ten points against Dopa, like you said earlier, not something that all players could have done here in the form that Dopa is in right now, because it is absolutely extraordinary, like we have pointed out many times. But it is just very true. Dopa mind showing here what he can look like in his uh, absolute godlike form. So. He's uh, trying to close it out here on the last map and trying to put Storm on 9 seconds. But like you said earlier, a uh, pretty uh, easy quote-unquote map for both players to uh, to drive here and make actually make less mistakes than uh, on other maps. So it will be harder for Dopa to put Storm on many seconds. But uh, and it is also... what he can do. If Storm drives as cleanly as he can, then uh, Dopamine can't really open up a pace gap. Yeah. Which does sort of demonstrate the problem with Endurance as it stands as a primetime cup, where very few matches are genuinely decided on pace, and the fact that it's a three-second margin 
mm -hmm. uh, does mean that matches are really more often than not decided on mistakes. Uh, it also does matter to a degree which map you choose, but as you can see here, Dopamine barely opening two tenths of a second on Storm within the past two laps and with three second margins. Uh, essentially, there would be almost no points to gain in endurance if it were not for mistakes, unfortunately. Yeah players do make a lot of them which is what uh, does lead to these point skews and it might be worth revisiting that format later perhaps changing the uh, points how the points differential is calculated and mm -hmm. potentially even uh, changing the order i think it might benefit players concentration to play endurance first yeah uh, maybe maybe the benefit of the freshness and the fact that the match there is still everything to play for it might lead to a higher level of endurance performance because very often it can happen that a match is decided before endurance or that you have to make yeah. an un unrealistically large gap to your opponent to really do anything. So maybe the move here Very is true. really to change the order in which it's played, put maybe time attack at the very end, put mm -hmm. endurance in rounds which require that maximum concentration up front and uh, maybe it would also increase the level, the level of performance. Yeah, the level you that mentioning we that we should make a fun event to see Dopa against all NASCAR players. Well, there is an <laughs> event like that. It's called a closing event, and it's this Sunday, and you should exactly. definitely come visit, and you're <laughs> going to have a chance to see uh, if you can uh, step up to Dopamine in a more casual environment where you're not really playing a full-on match against them. So definitely, all of you, please show up for the closing event. You'll have a chance to play against all these phenomenal players, and... Uh, have a little bit of fun in the process, put an end to this uh, wonderful Primetime Cup. Of course, we've got a lot of matches on tape for you to rewatch in case you want to remind yourself of some of the best moments. And if you want to learn from what you've seen uh, to improve your NASCAR skills. Mm -hmm. Very true. All uh, can be watched back, actually. And like Dev said, just make sure to tune in Sunday. You can uh, check out the match against the PTC 2021 winner here dopamine so if you want to give it a shot and see hmm what can i do against this uh, super magical alien just be here on sundays and uh, i think the primetime cup is also something that we can all learn from and just because it has been streamed and has been uh, uh, put on youtube as well we can all take that footage and uh, think all right where can we improve ourselves and that is where the the whole scene grows i think and that is very, very nice to see that that can actually happen. So please do that if you have the time and uh, see where you can improve. And maybe you one time will drive here against Dopa when he is uh, 70 years old, still contending for the trophy here. Who knows? Indeed. And uh, you have to consider the Primetime Cup is really just a very beneficial event for basically everyone attending. Mm -hmm. Of course, the past two years we've had 32-man tournaments, but once upon a time with a uh, slightly larger community and different game, we managed to fill out a 64-player bracket. So, of course, it is a double elimination tournament. You don't have to be afraid that just because you matched one strong player, uh, you would immediately be eliminated. And yeah. you should definitely try it out. The match setting and competing against uh, your rivals is very fun. And just seeing how far you can progress, of course, Definitely lots to be learned, lots to be applied. The map packs change every week, and uh, it is just really a very, very nice opportunity to play some high level NASCAR in a competitive setting. And unlike the SNC, this is a solo tournament, so you do not have to be part of a team, you don't have to seek teammates. Mm -hmm. Storm, unfortunately, as we're I... saying this, he's been riding very well against Dopamine for the past. Uh, 10 laps or so barely uh falling yeah, behind I just wanted to mention it and but unfortunately this mistake cost him multiple seconds yeah. and he's now on that nine second barrier thanks to a very unfortunate error on pace he was there but unfortunately in terms of consistency he wasn't and it's 8.8 .8 seconds so storm has to put the pace up for the final five laps if he wants to stay and get 10 points wow very unfortunate oh, so actually he fighting does for that. manage to do it though yeah unfortunately it's now just crossed the nine second barrier so now he has to actively fight back and we've seen that is he has very very hard <laughs> indeed it is so you can't really afford to make any mistakes against players of this caliber and while you might think that it isn't very fun to get completely blasted just re-watching it later seeing just 
how far it is from you to your opponent, just looking at which corners you're losing a lot of time in and then practicing them solo. It is really immensely beneficial to be part of the Primetime Cup if you have a mind to learn more about NASCAR, if you have a mind for improvement. You should definitely come join us and uh, come join us in more casual play, perhaps on some of the community servers playing NASCAR map, some of the map playlists prepared by community members such as Ronig and mm -hmm. many, many others. Yeah, a lot to do and a lot to learn. Very true indeed. A storm is... Uh, we're almost on, on the, in the end here. It is insane. Went by very, very fast actually this... Uh, this evening as we saw Dopa putting alien pace on the board against Storm. Storm has been fighting for uh, for his points almost going into the last lap here. Storm 9.6 seconds behind. Will... He did have the pace to be under 9 but unfortunately yeah. made a severe error that cost him more than 5 seconds. Which will eventually mean that as it stands this would be a 6-2 to two victory again for Dopamine and the final score would be 36-9. to nine. So Storm would not be able to secure these uh, 10 points but Dopamine seems to have made a mistake on the final lap. There's still everything to play for. He's under 9 seconds now. Wow. Looking for that 10th point just needs to finish the lap in order to secure it thanks to a small mistake by Dopamine. An act of mercy or an accidental mistake, it doesn't really matter. Storm manages go. to secure his 10th <laughs> point. All right. 36 to 10, the final score as we finish this final. There you go, guys. PTC 2021 almost done with your winner, Dopamine, here getting 36 points in, I think. Uh, a great final here against very very worthy opponent Storm who manages in the end to put 10 points on the board against Dopamine. I think that is very well done for him. And uh, as I said we are not done yet. Upcoming Sunday closing event make sure to be there. The official announcement will be there later. But uh, yeah that's actually it. GG. Indeed we are done here for 2021 only the closing event to go. A bit of fun against the players now that you've watched them all compete and perform and uh that'll be it for not just the prime time cup but for nascar competition for a while of course there yeah. are still other events out there there is the weekly nascar event there is uh of course the spring nascar cup which i'm which will only happen next year the next edition mm -hmm. yeah we'll additional see. events so if you've enjoyed what you've seen uh Please join us for the closing event and uh, join us sometimes in casual play. Get to know what NASCAR is all about and see just how difficult it is and uh, find out just how deep really it is, what the skill ceiling is and why it's a trackmania discipline like any other. Very true. Why we love competing, why we love playing it and why we love watching it. There we go. So looking forward to that and... Uh... That's actually the closing out here. So, want to thank everyone for uh, for being here. It was uh, was a very nice final. Thank you all for watching. Of course, thank you all for tuning in uh, for the support for the uh, streams that have been going on. Uh, yeah. All your uh, kind words really do mean a lot. And thank you for uh, always showing up for the streams for watching and uh for being a part of this amazing community so that's it from me uh all right it has been a real privilege to be able to cast this tournament for you hopefully uh hopefully it was a good cast hopefully it did uh bring the excitement that you uh needed hopefully it brought the attention that these players deserve to them and although there were a few uh unfortunate moments and although it is hard to coordinate with the caster you can't see in the room next to you mm -hmm. <laughs> uh I think we've managed to do a really good job putting these dual casts together, of course. Uh, yeah. Big thanks to you as well for having me for these past couple of weeks and uh, for the streams that you've been organizing. Yeah, pleasure is all mine, man. Thank you so much for being here and hope to uh, cast with you in the future once again. Yeah, hopefully there will be a chance, maybe even on Sunday. We'll see. But yeah. until then, that's been it from me. All Def right. Signing out and uh, have a great one. See you. All right, so that was deft for you, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. Thank you so much for uh, for being here. And a big, 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 big shout out to Deft for that amazing casting. Of course, I hope you have enjoyed it. Very well done. <laughs>